It's the mycotoxin-based molds. Those are the problems. That's going to be your aspergillus, your stachybotrys, your penicillium, your fusarium. These will be molds that are, that are associated with mold toxins, right? These are the mycotoxins. This is the, the flatulence or the off-gassing of the mold. And then you have other molds like from the soil, from the decaying leaves on your side yard, from just nature doing its thing, right? Cladosporium, microsporium, these are normal molds. Now, if you're sensitive though, it could still give you brain fog. It could still make you have chronic congestion. And so it's still good to have those allergens down. Now, here's a little secret. Don't tell anyone, but when we do mold testing, we always compare inside to outside. And I'm telling you, it's not good. If the mold, plus, mold test outside looks as good as inside, then we got a problem, right? Because your inside should be much, much cleaner. I know sometimes parts of the country, people are like, oh, I'm going to put the fan on. It's a wonderful night. I'm like, go to ChatGPT. Say, give me an in-depth allergy report from my zip code. And then phoom, pollen leaves. And then you'll, unless you see a, re a really low allergy score, don't put it on, <laughs> okay? Just just run the air, run a fan inside. Uh, do it that way. Because you got to be careful because you're pulling all a bunch of allergens from outside in. So if you're sensitive... Go on, get an app, go on, get your chat GPT going to look at an allergy report for your zip code. Make sure things are good before you do that because we see a lot of people do that and they have a lot of allergens and pollens on the inside that could be problematic. So big thing out of the gate, we get the HEPA filtration going. Ideally, I like Austin Airs because they have 15 to 20 pounds of zeolite and activated charcoal carbon inside of the HEPA. So you got this big donut called the HEPA and then you have inside the donut, instead of where the cream filling would be, you got a whole bunch of zeolite, which is volcanic ash or volcanic um, minerals. And then you have a whole bunch of activated carbon from, I think it's coconut shells. And as the air rushes through the carbon, through the fulvic minerals, then it goes through the HEPA and then it goes back out. So the carbon and all that, that those components bind a lot of the toxins, and then it runs through the HEPA. And so those filters last five years. They last a lot longer because of the, the sheer amount of media. You pick up those filters, they're, they're like a big daddy. They're, they're huge. Um, versus like, you know, the um, Air Doctor, it's a, it's a more thin one. It's still nice. I have Air Doctors. They're still nice. Um, they're still good. I like them. But if you want something that's very robust, just feel the Austin filter versus the Air Doctor one. So if I could pick one, I would invest in the Austin. It's a little more expensive, but the filter doesn't have to be changed but once per five years. And it, the, the carbon in there is going to filter out you know, a lot more of the off-gassing. And if you get the HealthMate Plus, it's got a potassium iodide coating in there. So that neutralizes more of the formaldehyde that could come off like the paints or anything that's like the preservatives that are in your like sofas or rugs or those kind of things. So it's good to have that. So basements, higher humidity. Why? Because of where they are at in the ground, less ventilation, pulling from the soil in. If there's not a vapor barrier, it's, it's more likely to pull moisture from the outside in. 